I'm Karen Gray, Superintendent of Lincoln County School District. Today's message is to all of our students and families who might be thinking about attending a college or university next year. There are incredible opportunities for post-secondary education and funds to support our youth to ensure that all Lincoln County School District students have the opportunity to attend college if that is their path. There are grants, which are money for students to pay for college, and in most circumstances, they do not have to pay them back. Grants are available, such as the Oregon Opportunity Grant, Oregon Promise Grant, which grants help to pay tuition to Oregon students enrolling in Oregon Community College directly following their high school graduation or GED completion, Oregon Student Child Care Grant, and others. Students can access more than 600 scholarships through a single application by logging on to OregonStudentAid.gov. That's OregonStudentAid.gov. February 15th was the scholarship early bird deadline, and March 1st is the scholarship application final deadline, so you need to get going. Scholarships also do not have to be paid back and are money for students to pay for college. Scholarships can be awarded based on a college major, high school merits, financial need, employer, and more. There are many kinds of scholarships out there, one for every type of student. Locally, for example, Newport High School graduates found more than $838,000 in scholarships last year. The free application for federal student aid, also known as FAFSA, opened on October 1st. Students may still complete the FAFSA. For any undocumented Oregon students, there is access to state financial aid using the Oregon Student Aid Application, or ORSA, which also opened October 1st. There are many free tools to help students with the financial aid process. You can also talk to your high school counselor. Use the Common App to easily apply for more than 900 member colleges and universities in all 60 states, in, including the District of Columbia, as well as in Canada, China, Japan, and many European countries. Did you know that Oregon's seven public universities no longer require students to submit SAT or ACT scores for admission? That's amazing. The Office of Student Access and Completion, OSAC, is hosting a series of virtual webinars and one-on-one -on -one application assistance. Remember, each counseling office is eager to help our students and families navigate all of these options. If you can't make it to one of the webinars, you can find recordings of them on the OSAC YouTube page. As Dr. Vicki Roller of Newport High School Counseling Team says, do your FAFSA, apply for college, and do your OSAC. Even if you do nothing else, we encourage all students to apply, even if you don't know what they're going to do, because it opens the doors to opportunity. Please use your counseling center to help you and your family sort through packages and application. We are here to help. Thank you so much, Vicki Roller. We wish you all the best and encourage all of our students to dream big and know that we are here to support you. Until next time, everybody take care and be well.